Oh, hey, babe. Oh, we finally made it last after eight years. I know I took it a little longer, but you know what it said about waiting for the right time. And the right moment actually came today. I remember when I first met you eight years ago in Nigeria back at home, and you were just so young and sweet. I couldn't just stop, and then I chased you for a little bit. Of course, it took me a little bit, but you finally said yes, and that was the first yes. And today you said the biggest and the most important yes of all, and you are going to marry me and be my wife. Dear Sammy, where do I even begin? I remember when we first met, and I thought to myself, wow, I've definitely found a person who would genuinely be a dear friend to me and who I can talk about anything with. And years after, here we are about to be married. It's our wedding day, sharing our love with our friends and our family. I just want to say I am very honored that I am your wife and to be called your wife. And I'm so honored that I have you as my best friend for the rest of my life. You are truly my greatest supporter and my biggest fan. I'm so lucky to have you be all of these to me and even more. I knew very early in our relationship that you were going to be a keeper. It was actually after one of our first arguments when you calmly told me, Usawasi, we need to be on one another's side because it is us against the world. We have gathered together in the presence of God to witness and bless the joining together of this man and this woman in holy matrimony. Almighty God established the bond and covenant of marriage and creation as a sign of the mystical union between Christ and his church. Our Lord Jesus Christ adorned this manner of life by his presence and first miracle at a wedding in Cana of Galilee. And it is commended by Holy Scripture to be held in honor among all people. Marriage is intended to be an image of the love that Christ has for us, for his church. In the name of God, I stand and say it to be my wife, to have and to hold from this day forward, for better, for worse, for richer, for poorer, in sickness and in health, to love and to cherish until we're parted by death, according to God's holy word. This is my solemn vow. I praise to be Sammy, to be my husband, to have and to hold from this day forward, for better, for worse, for richer, I pronounce that they are husband and wife in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. I hope we have a beautiful life, and uh, and I can't wait for us to have a first baby. And oh yeah, the one thing you always want to do: fix our house together, decorate our first home together, and that's the next dream is gonna come true. Just wanna say I love you so much, and you have been there for me when I had nothing, and you're still here when I'm a man now. God bless you, my darling. I'm still trying to get used to calling, just saying the word wife, but I guess I can now say my wife. Thank you, my wife, and God bless you. And I hope we'll have a fun-filled life. Um, I hope this little message puts a smile on your face. I love you, now and always. Life is all about making choices. You make them every second of the day. And today, I choose you. Every second from here, 
I choose you. I choose you to be my partner, my husband, and my family. Marrying you has got to be one of the easiest choices I ever made because I have faith in you. I have faith in us. I have faith in your honesty, in your integrity, and mostly in your love for me. I vow to support you for you are. I vow to respect you for who you are. I vow to always listen to you and be there for you. I vow to never settle for less than what you deserve, which is the best. I promise to love you all the time, every day, even on those days that I don't like you that much, because you are always right. I choose you, Sammy, to be none other than yourself, loving you for who you are, always. I choose our life together, to build it together. I choose you, Sammy, for my life.